Hi Leo, this is your weekly August 23rd through August 29th tarot reading. I do multiple spreads per reading. Check out the featured channel video for more details. Also, please donate to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We've got the Four of Pentacles, the Magician, the Ten of Swords, clarified by the Five of Pentacles, and we have the Eight of Cups on the bottom of the deck. So unfortunately for whoever it is uh, who wants to trick you, you're not gonna buy it. So we've got the uh, Four of Pentacles card, the first card on the left. This is a card of you, Leo, holding back. Um, you are being cautious about this person. Perhaps you do see some red flags right away, immediately. But this person will proceed to uh, make an attempt to lure you into something with this Magician card, right? This is, in this case, the Magician is the trickster. And uh, you will completely understand what kind of a person you're dealing with and uh, you will pretty much tell them no almost immediately with this ten of swords you're just killing this offer on arrival the offer is DOA dead on arrival right and uh, yeah this person has nothing to do but to uh, pack their shit up and leave <laughs> that's what I see in the five of pentacles and the eight of cups the eight of cups the card on the bottom of the deck is them walking away and uh, we also have the Ten of Swords clarified by the Five of Pentacles, right? This is uh, uh, them feeling left out in the cold. Oh well, too bad for them. Uh, Leo is uh, very wise and very smart. They couldn't trick you. Alright, so don't let this discourage you. Perhaps this is just one particular bad person you're dealing with who is trying to get you in trouble or do something that you wouldn't like going forward perhaps there's other people coming towards you this week but this one person will stand out but uh, you will be able to catch their bad ways Leo if you are already in a relationship or if you are married this spread is for you we've got the eight of ones we have the six of cups then we have the four of pentacles clarified by the fool and then we also have the knight of pentacles clarified by the ten of cups <clears throat> I think you and your boyfriend your girlfriend or your significant other are trying to make a decision and the two of you have different opinions or the two of you have different approaches or one of you wants to do something but the other one does not <laughs> That's what I see in the uh, Four of Pentacles, clarified by the Fool. So perhaps one of you wants to go on a trip, but the other one says it's too soon, considering what's going on in the world. One of you wants to invest some money into something, but the other one wants to hold on to the money, right, and say, let's just keep it on the savings account or a COD. It's just safer that way, at least for now. And that's this is where the disagreement comes in but I don't really see you fighting over it it's just gonna be in a very nice um, respective way respected way uh, so the eight of ones the first card on the left this is the communication and the six of cups uh, every once in a while the six of cups represents uh, somebody coming back from the past but the second meaning of this card is the soulmate card so this is your partner, this is your soulmate whom you are communicating with, right? About this, uh, whatever it is that you are trying to decide upon. And then we have the Knight of Pentacles clarified by the Ten of Cups. This is actually the outcome. So it could be about finances or it could be about an investment or some kind of money anyway. And the Ten of Cups, this is your uh, partnership. This is your marriage if you're married. And it's a very happy one. So I don't really see you getting into a major fight. I don't see you throwing objects at each other. <laughs> Nothing like that. Uh, so hopefully you will find a solution or a resolution or you'll find a common ground. And I think you will. Whatever the uh, disagreement uh, you have, you will figure it out in a very nice and loving manner. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Leo, this week. Keep in mind it could be somebody from a couple of months ago, a year ago, or a couple of years ago. We don't know. We have the Eight of Wands, we have the Five of Cups clarified by the Seven of Swords, we have the King of Cups, 
and then we have judgment clarified by the 601s and the 401s. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. Yeah, you're most likely dealing with this uh, King of Cups, a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, male or female. Absolutely doesn't matter. Or this person is, uh, you know, in control of their emotions, uh, but at the same time, this person is very loving. What makes me not so sure about this person is, is the uh, Five of Cups, clarified by the Seven of Swords. The Five of Cups is all about regretting something, and the Seven of Swords is a card of a cheater, a card of uh, a liar, a card of somebody who ran away. So clearly this person regrets doing that to you at some point in the past. And uh, they're going to communicate with you this week. That's the eight of ones. The first card on the left is all about. This is a card of communication. So they will be uh, reaching out to you, and they will let you know that they have deepest regrets about what happened in the past, and they want to get back together with you. And uh, judging by the other cards, um, you'll most likely go for it. We have judgment clarified by the 601s and the 401s. This is actually the outcome. I specifically asked what the outcome is going to be and those three cards came out. Judgment is all about reconciliations and the 601s is the victory card and the 401s is the card of a very stable and a happy relationship. So um, yeah, that's what we see here. So hopefully this person did not screw you over too badly in the past because uh, the Seven of Swords is still there. Well, Leo, and uh, it's up to you what you want to do with it, but it looks like you will be getting back together with this person. It's as simple as that. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, Leo, this week. We've got the Six of Pentacles, we have the Nine of Wands clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, and we have the Hierophant. You could be dealing with an Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So I think somebody wants to offer you a new job or a new business adventure or a new investment opportunity, um, but uh, you're not 100% sure. This is you in the Nine of Wands, which is clarified by the Knight of Pentacles, um, and you're just not sure if you want to do it in such a turbulent time make an investment or start a new job, perhaps you're good at with your current job. The Nine of Wands is the card of a wounded warrior and the Knight of Pentacles is the offer itself. And this is a, a very grounded offer because the Knight of Pentacles is all about money and finances in this case. And we also have the Six of Pentacles which is also about money and finances, right? And the Hierophant here is all about tradition, something traditional. So perhaps Whatever it is they want you to uh, get involved in will require signing documents and signing contracts or signing some kind of an agreement. That's what the Hierophant is all about. It's all about a traditional paperwork, something like that. Um, so I don't know what you're going to do about it, but do expect to receive some kind of an offer this week. And uh, to be honest with you, whenever I see the Knight of Pentacles, to me it represents a very serious and a very stable and grounded offer. But it will be up to you if you want to start this new job or start this new business adventure or invest into something new. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen to you, Leo, this week. We've got uh, the Two of Pentacles, the Three of Pentacles, we have the King of Wands, and we have the Nine of Wands. Um, I think, Leo, this is you, the King of Wands, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And what you're not expecting is this offer that we were just talking about in the previous spread. This is either a work or business or some kind of financial offer. So we've got the Two of Pentacles, this is uh, representing finances or your decision or you're thinking about it. So somebody is juggling some money right in front of you. Right, and uh, we also have the Three of Pentacles. This is all about uh, some kind of a partnership or a new workplace or a new business deal. Uh, something that uh, would require a lot of work from you and would require you working with other people, collaborating with others, right? And the King of Wands is you, male or female, absolutely doesn't matter. And we also have the Nine of Wands, which is the uh, outcome, and it's a repeat card. 
The same card we saw in the previous spread. This is a card of a Wounded Warrior, uh, meaning that you're not going to be uh, very open to this offer, or at least this is going to be your initial reaction to it. You are, you have your suspicions, you have your doubts, and you're not really sure if this is the right time to do it. So yeah, do your research. Um, I don't see any urgency here, I don't see any fast moving energies like the Knight of Swords would have been really fast or a chariot. Um, so do take your time, do your research and then perhaps you can give them an answer at some point in the future. And there you have it. This was your tarot reading for this time period. I hope it resonated with you and helps you live a better life one way or the other. Thank you for watching, sharing and subscribing.